Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sick, and today I want to talk about some of the cool quality of life stuff that we have with MacroQuest, and particular uh, stuff we offer at Red Guides. So, uh, as we all know, EverQuest is an old game. Uh, I think it was started in like 1475 or something, somewhere around there. It's been around for, I don't know, 672 years at this point, and uh, we've all been playing for that long, so... Um, there's a lot of quality of life stuff that they've kind of fallen short on and so some of the stuff with MacroQuest outside of the automation stuff is just quality of life things. Um, and with the new MacroQuest it's gotten even easier to add quality of life functionality and features uh, for us because now we have the ability to use the Lua scripting language which is a real language unlike the MacroQuest macro language which is a homebrew built-in house get nothing for free everything you have to work for everything you have to well there's no way to do this so i have to do some other like fuckery to be able to accomplish what i'm trying to do and uh with lua we're able to just kind of you know use the existing language that comes with all of the stuff a hashtag real language would come with uh so it's pretty cool now one of the really frequently asked questions with using lua scripts is how do i get this thing to run automatically because normally it would be like lua run cool Right, and then, so this would try and run cool Lua, okay? And obviously we don't have a, uh, we don't have a cool Lua, so it's going to tell me to eat shit and die. We have a cool Lua GUI, which you can do slash Lua space GUI, as you saw in my little, uh, little box I have here to show what I'm typing. Um, and it'll show running, paused, exited. We can launch a script here. This is like crazy complicated. It, it looks complicated, it's really not complicated, but you can navigate through your actual drives and your folders and search for the stuff. And so like, for example, here, I'm just going to uh, run Lootly, right? So boom, Lootly is now running. And uh, this would be something that we'll do uh, Lua stop Lootly. And she goes from running to exited, okay? Now, normally you would just come in and Lua run Lootly like this, boom and you see it's running. And this is the second instance of it, so it's gonna say that it's two or whatever. Uh, restart, that's three, stop, restart, four, blah, 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 unimportant. How do you automatically load this thing when you come in game? Nobody, we don't wanna come in game and then be like, oh, I forgot to run lootly, so now I'm not looting anything and shit's getting dropped on the ground or whatever other um, Lua scripts you use automatically. Like for me, I have Lootly automatic run, automatically running. I have my Indiz display automatically running. I have my InZone HUD automatically displaying. I have my uh, my guild clickies uh, so I can travel using the uh, portal items in the guild hall. I've got a bunch of Luas that automatically run whenever I get in game. So how do I do that? Well, that's really easy. Let's hop over to the MacroQuest docs boop, and I'll show you here. So we have things called CFG files, right? So that's configuration files. CFG files are files which contain commands to be run at certain times. The file must contain the uh, commands the same as you would use them normally. Each command will be executed in order. However, there are no macro blocks, events, etc., in a CFG file. Okay, so that's getting a little crazy already. What the hell does that mean? Really, really simple. It means it'll literally execute uh, a slash command, right? So uh, if we go back to game, Remember before I said Lua run lootly, so we can put that in a CFG file and it'll run automatically. Well, what type is going to be the best type for what we want? Uh, this in-game one is a new one uh, with uh, macro quests, and that's the one we want to use, okay? Right click on my macro quest icon. I'm going to go to open folder and I'm going to go to config because if you remember everything for macro quest is in our config folder. It's not all over the wacky place in like macro folders for configuration files and I'm going to come in here and I'm in my config folder that the macro quest 2 opened up and I already have highlighted here my ingame.cfg now you're not going to have one right so you literally right click new you can do text document or whatever in game and you see how it automatically um, puts the .txt on the end we don't want that we want cfg Okay, and if you press enter, it'll be like, whoa, you're trying to change a file name extension. Are you sure? Yes. Now I already have one, so we're just gonna let it make it make it two. Um, so we're going to do that there. Okay. Now I am gonna edit this. I'm gonna use Notepad. You can use uh, VS Code. You can use 
uh, Notepad++. You can use regular Notepad, you can use Word, you can use all sorts of stuff as long as it saves as the correct file extension, which is that .cfg that we spoke about, um, the configuration file. So I'm gonna drag this in my screen. So you'll see here, uh, this is the release config in-game CFG in my notepad and it runs individual lines. So just like you would type in game, Lua run Lutely, I Lua run Lutely, Lua run guild clicky, then I do a timed 20, Lua run invis display, timed 40, Lua run in zone. The reason I have these two separated is because uh, they both display a window and there's some there's there can be some stuff where you're popping up multiple stuff at the same time. So I'm just using timed two, so this will wait two seconds and uh, and run this and then timed 40 and run this. All of these commands get executed at the same time. So even though it's like line, 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 it doesn't go line, wait, line, wait, line, wait. It tries to execute them all at the same time. And these just allow uh, line three and line four to be spaced out a little easier. But if all you were doing was lootly, you do that, you'd save that bad boy, which is alt F S uh, for, for this. I didn't make any changes there. So do that. Um, so file alt F S or control S for save. Uh, you can see my little icon change. So now I know this is saved. I'm gonna X this. Let's just right click in and edit this again, just to make sure it's saved properly. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, Lua stop Lutely. I am going to camp to desktop. Now I'm gonna edit this out because of the character select stuff. But when I come in, when I come in game, um, I'll have the video playing again and it should show that Lootly automatically ran without me typing in uh, Lua run Lootly, okay? All right, so we're logging in here and uh, we should have the stuff. And if you notice down in my MQ window, automatically when I logged in, uh, Lootly loaded. Easy peasy. So we know that that is good to go. And uh, I'm now in game and my Lootly is automatically running. So this is a nice, quick, and easy way to ensure that your Lua scripts are running as soon as you log in game. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, don't be shy.